Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in with another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the upgraded version of Parrot OS 4.10. And there's, um, there's a few new release notes. Um, I can put these links in the description below. But, you know, just to have a quick glance, um, I'll show you where you can download the, the files if you want to do the virtual. Like I downloaded the OVA because I'm going to be installing this on VirtualBox. But you can download the ISO files if you want to go ahead and install this on your laptop or your desktop as your main OS. In my case, my main OS is Windows 10 and I install all my Linux machines in VirtualBox. So just a quick overview. Um, if you have a current version of uh, Parrot OS, say for example, you're running seven or eight or whatever, uh, what you can do is you can just write sudo space Parrot upgrade or app uh, sudo app up, uh, app space update space nn sudo apt full upgrade and the commands are right here on their site um which which is really cool and you know so it's like what's new a non-surf this is probably one of my favorite things probably one of them on parrot os and if the video doesn't go too long i'll show you how to use this this is pretty much how you browse the internet anonymously um and use the, the Tor browser, also known as the Ungin router. All right, so these are a couple new things. Uh, Linux 5.7, uh, so it comes with that now. Metasploit 6.0, and a whole bunch of cool other things. And OpenVos, or AKA, you know, also known as OpenVos, but Greenbone Vulnerability Manager 11. I think I did a, um, a video on the Greenbone Vulnerability Manager and, and installing that and stuff. So you can check out that video. So let's get started. I don't want to waste too much time talking about this stuff. So what you can do is go right to their site, paratsec.org download. And like I said, it's all up to you, whichever way you want to um, install this, which I want to go into security and you can install the ISO, you can download the default, but I downloaded the OVA already so i already have it right here in my downloads uh show you over here it's right here so what we're going to do is install this on uh, virtualbox sorry i have so much stuff open so this is my virtualbox so what i'm going to do is go to file import appliance because an ova is technically an appliance so let me just do this because i'm lazy and I'm just going to paste that there, paste, and it's right here at the bottom here, okay? And hit open. So once you hit open, you're going to go ahead and hit next. And it's going to show you all the settings. Remember, you can follow along if you're using VirtualBox. It's a free software, which I highly recommend if you're trying to learn pen testing or security, cybersecurity, because you can segment and seclude all these virtual machines in a nested environment like when I do malware analysis, or if I'm doing something that can harm a production environment, you can put it in its own sandbox, which is amazing. So you can put it in a, in a nested network, so you don't have to have it communicate outside its own little LAN network, all right? So, cool. And maybe one, you know, if you guys want to know uh, more about that, just let me know and I'll make a video on it. But this video is about the new, um, uh, 4.10 Parrot. So now we can just go ahead and hit import and just go ahead and agree to the license agreement. All right. This will probably take a couple minutes. It's not a big file. Um, like again, just let that do its thing. Let's go ahead and go back to um, the release notes so we can uh, go, go down the list here. So I think we're up to Linux 5.0. Oh, I think we're up to Metasploit 6. So so, you know, what Metasploit is, you know, it's a framework that you can find vulnerabilities. Like I had some stuff running on my Kali box. I can bring that over here. So I was running Metasploit in here doing some stuff. I'm not going to, I'm not going to show that, but I was doing some stuff um, for a client. And, you know, this is, this is just a Kali box that's running Metasploit. All right. 
So let's go ahead and minimize that. We can go back here. This is almost done importing this OVA. So we'll give that a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa, what the hell is that? Bugs, the bug. And um, I guess we, oh, it's done. So it's over here, right? All the way at the bottom here. So we can go ahead. I'm gonna make some changes. I wanna go ahead and right click, go to settings. I wanna make sure there's some settings in here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, perfect. And system, I wanna go ahead and take out the floppy. That should be fine. Processor for that should be fine. And I wanna go ahead and go to my network. I wanna go ahead and do NAT and network, InfoSec Pat network. Just because, like I said, I have different networks for different time, types of um, stuff. So InfoSec Pat works perfectly fine for my situation. All right, USB, this is all good. I don't need to, I don't need to tinker with anything else. Let's just go ahead, okay. And we can go ahead and hit start. All right, so let's start this VM. It's a very simple, simple process. It's not difficult at all, which I love, you know, the way they, um, they make these VMs now. It's just amazing. All right. Let's, um, well, that's doing that. Let's go ahead and X out of here. All right, it's logged in. Hopefully it does the whole, uh, not VMware, uh, VirtualBox tool, so it makes it big and nice, perfect. All right, whoa, this is, uh, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me see something. I think I loaded. Uh, oh yeah, that is it. Unless it, I guess it shows it differently now. This is really, really strange. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and load it up. I guess they show all these here, just like that. That's interesting. Let's um, let's do an if config really quick. Okay, yeah, I'm on that network. I'm gonna use so I can get out to the internet. Yep. Cool. All right. So that is, uh, that's let's do a U name. If I can spell name dash a, and we can see that it's running. All right. This is the operating system that's running. That should be perfectly fine. All right. So one other thing I would like to show you guys. Um, it's fine. Let's just go back or open up the, um, so a few cool things we can do in here is the first thing is the Anon surf, right? That's what they were saying. So if you hit a non surf, so before I'm not going to show my IP because obviously for obvious reasons. So what we can do once you go ahead and type in a non surf and you can see if we have start, stop, restart, enable boot, disable boot, status boot, etc. Right? So what we can do is click on, I mean, type in a non surf dash start, I mean, space start. Oh, of course I'm drunk. Pseudo. Uh, obviously we cannot run this as a non boot user. Uh, I think Tor is the password. I'm going to hit no here. Perfect, you see here, now we're on the Tor browser. So it's technically now, what we can do is run a non surf status, status, stats, us. And then we can see, if we go over, we can see all the circuits that we're connected to and what IPs that we're going out of. This is pretty damn amazing. So everything here, now we're, we're running under the Tor browser, so I can get out of here for a second. And we can go ahead and put my IP. Usually that's, um, we can show what IP. So we have 80.67. Uh, 80 so if we go like this, let's copy this. And just go to um, uh, Firefox. 
and let's do ipcal.com. I like this one because it, I don't have to type a lot. I guess it all comes down to uh, laziness. So now what we can do here is see the, it's obviously it's gonna be a little slow. And you know what, it's not gonna show the location there. Let me do, let's go to Google and we'll see. Obviously this is like in some foreign language. I think it's in the, the, the Netherlands. The Netherlands, obviously I speak the English, so let's do this. And what is my IP address? And then obviously it's gonna show me all this craziness because now we're under Tor browser. Uh, let's see if I can uh, get this right. I hate these things. I really do. But you get the idea. Obviously, we can do, um, let's do IP chicken. See if uh, what comes up with that. Now it's a different IP because probably if we go back here, it's probably changed. Or what we can do is go back to status and we can see all pretty much all the circuits that Tor is going through, Canada, I don't know, DE, maybe, De I don't know what this is, Denmark, France, I don't know, Pol I, I don't really know these things to be 100% honest. But this is, you know, this is the idea um, how you can browse the internet anonymously as well. But it's not a video about that, but I just wanted to show you that feature inside of Parrot OS. So that pretty much, concludes the video. You know, I really appreciate you guys checking it out with me. If you have any questions about installing Parrot OS 4.10, let me know. And um, until next time, have a good one. Take care, guys.